Ever since Jason Osborne, Olympic silver medalist at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, also became swift indoor world cycling champion, the cycling community knew that rowers are just like cyclists, are among the best endurance athletes in the world. So today I'm going to find out who has the edge in a direct duel of these both supreme disciplines of endurance sport. Before we start with the challenge, I want to introduce myself. I'm Richie GCN of Deutsch presenter, so from Germany. And a few days ago, I got a call from Great Britain and they told me that I am allowed to ride my bike with Victor Kampanaz to row with Ward Lamerlin. And yes, then I took the train to Belgium and found out that I have to do a challenge against them. I'm curious to see what happens today. Let's go in. We are here at the Bike Valley Performance Center, the center of technology of Belgian cycling. Here they are developing their newest techniques and bikes using a wind tunnel and the most modern CFD and modeling equipment. And they also offer great training conditions here, which is why some of the best Belgian athletes use it for their preparation for the Olympics. Also, because they have a climate chamber here. Today we have optimal conditions for a clash of the titans. So I created three challenges to see if the variability in sports creates equal opportunities. First of all, we are going to compete against each other in a swift race, riding the hilly route of swift, which is like nine kilometers. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see who will take first place there. After the first sweat has dried, we are going to compete against each other in a 2000 meter rowing race. For that, we are using the virtual platform EXR. We are using Concept2 rowers today, but theoretically EXR would be also connectable with water rowers or RP3 machines. During the race, EXR will record all of our data so that we can compare ourselves against each other. The last challenge of today is a shuttle run test. For that, we will mark two lines 20 meters away from each other. And then we will have the first beep, you have to start running and you have to reach the line before the next beep. And with the time, the beeps are getting faster and faster. And after the third competition, we will know the winner. We are giving three points for the winner of each challenge, two for the second and one for the last. Let's find out who's the best endurance athlete, rower, cyclist or me. Ah. Ah. Okay, I am like 100 meters before the start of the KOM of the hilly loop on Vatopia. I'm going to ride all out. Wish me luck. Let's go. Trying to push those what? A little bit higher. Ah. Eight hundred meters. One Thirteen fifteen. That was harder than expected. Can't wait for the rowing exercises. Faster. No. Am I faster? I'm destroyed also. Oh! 
Let's go, bro. As you can see, we just finished the cycling race and I lost. Victor won and Ward came home in second and just one point for me. Now we are going to compete against each other in the 2000 meter rowing race. My Achilles heel of today's video as I never sat on a rowing trainer in my life before. But thanks to EXR, I just don't have to stay on a wide wall as I'm rowing through a virtual reality, unlocking various extras and levels. Also, the worlds are currently changing and you have the possibility to choose between different training programs. That means variability. Definitely better than just staring at a wide wall. It works just as well as indoor cycling apps and there's also the possibility to connect it to third-party apps like Trainingspeaks, Strava and also the Concept2 logbook. And there's also a free trial available, so if you want to try EXR out by yourself, give it a try. And now I just have to get some last minute tip from the current world indoor rowing champion. Ward, can you give me some tips? Yeah, you can put your shoes in the, okay. in the area method. And then, um, yeah, the, you have to stay focused that you push at all times first at your legs. Push first your at legs. the legs, okay. Your legs are much stronger than your arms, as I can see. Definitely. And, <laughs> and your back. So we're gonna focus that you push out your legs, so push it out, then the back and then the arms. Then you come back forward, arms, back, and then the legs. And that's the, that's the, yeah, the good sequence. Easy, defend your world title. <laughs> I was told everything under 10 minutes is okay, so I give it my best. Wish me luck. That went better than accepted. I'm pretty happy. Ooh, my arms. Ooh. Victor, I finished seven minutes and 22 seconds. What do you think you can do? I'm just very scared. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. I don't want to be lost in this event. <laughs> I think you will do great. Uh, good luck and have fun. Thank you, man. How do you feel? How do your arms feel? Uh, <laughs> I'm full of like that acid, to be honest. So what? Now it's your turn. Yes. I finished 7 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, Victor, a bit slower. Are you scared? I'm very scared. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh, my record is uh, 5.42. But... Um, yeah, regarding that I almost had to vomit after the swift race and there is still uh, one challenge ahead, I think um, I'm gonna 
try 555 and it would be okay, I think. It will be okay, I think. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> What? Yeah. You finished 558? Yeah, it was not my best UK, obviously, but yeah, after the Swift race, my legs are feeling not so good. Quite impressive though. We yeah. Cover. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So we are about to start our final competition, the shuttle run test. At the moment, Ward is leading with five points. Victor is second with four points and I am third with three points. Let's see who is the winner after this final competition. The shuttle run test. And you can also see the VO2 max from the shuttle run test. The VO2 max shows how many oxygen an athlete can consume per milliliter per kilogram per minute. In other words, just how hard you can go. And I would say this is exactly what we are going to do now. Two, one. Okay guys, we are finished with the competition and we have to say we are equal in points. Six for Victor, six for Ward and six for me. So we did not find a winner for the day. So I thought we can maybe switch over to the bar and find out in drinking some duvels. Uh, was there any surprises for you during doing today? What did you expect it was? Uh, the present data was just too strong. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that, but uh, it's uh, part of the competition. <laughs> and at this point, we definitely have to say a special shout out uh, to sorry, a special shout out to Dan Lloyd, and we say cheers. Thanks for taking part, guys, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.